What is up, everybody? Now, I'm standing here with AJ Kirsch, and we just had a fundraiser here at Pacheco Square Gardens. And so, AJ, you were, you were declared the Rock Pro champion by The Rock himself. She was. You were on, you were on the Steve Austin sh show with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Mm -hmm. You had a match against Tyrus from the Nose Bros. Clay. Sure did. And before we talk about the fundraiser, I want to talk about your uh, match on SmackDown. Okay. Against the machinery. So, what was going through your mind in that match? Uh, I was glad that I only had to do two things. I was glad that all I had to do was take a hip toss, a clothesline over the top, and I was done for the night. Um, I had a great time. Those guys were a pleasure to work with. Everybody at WWE was a pleasure to work with. But I'm glad it was short and sweet. But dude, your partner got massacred. Man. Oh, Dave Dutra. No, he definitely got the worst of that exchange. Absolutely. And... Um, you know, my hat's off to him for being a hell of a tag team partner and for loaning me his extra gear so we could actually look like a tag team. Uh, but yeah, he got smothered a couple, three or four different times during that match. And you did lose the Yolo County tag team titles, sadly. Yeah, yeah, we do, do you and your partner want a rematch to uh, possibly get them back? Uh, yeah, we want a rematch. I mean, we've been hounding Yolo County officials about invoking our rematch clause because even though WWE may have done away with the rematch clause, Yolo County has not done away with the rematch clause. So if the Yolo County Championships are being officially recognized in WWE, I feel like it's only fair that they're contested under the Yolo County's very specific set of guidelines, one of which includes a guaranteed rematch should the champions lose their titles. So Again, Yolo County officials have been hounding WWE and trying to get in touch with the right personnel, but I'm, um, you know, we haven't heard anything yet. So we'll see what happens. But they are, they seem to be ignoring Yolo County's phone calls. Why'd you make them out of cardboard? Uh, I, in fact, didn't make them. Yolo County did. Um, they are championships that Dutra and I hold in very high regard. They are uh, breathtakingly designed, spared no expense. Um, took it's very creative by the way it is it is a very it's very instantly recognizable uh, design I'm just gonna adjust that oh really yeah quick. excuse me <laughs> it's a very instantly recognizable design uh, they're popping up in Japan all over the country I mean they've gone worldwide the Yolo County Tag Team Championships have and so it's it's fantastic to see such a widely what is widely regarded as the most prestigious prestigious Championship in all of professional wrestling, just showing up all over the world. It's very, it's very humbling. Now, this is actually completely random. It was from my own thought. Um, I can't wait. Um, you know, I also forgot to mention you did do a voiceover for a, a video game character for Divinity Two K Nineteen. I did. I voiced uh, Buzz, the main character yes, in my career mode. What if you were offered to play the next Steve for Blue Clues? Would you do it? Or yeah, I mean, why not? That sounds like a great gig. I'd love to host Blue Clues. Yeah, I, I can picture you like when they open the door, like you, you can say, oh, hey bro, come on in. Exactly. Oh, what's up bro? Welcome. Let's go learn stuff. I think it's where. And I think maybe Blue's first clues could be a uh, protein shake, a barbell, and um, some workout clothes. Maybe even a protein shake. Yes, even better. There you go. There you go. Protein shake. You triple your gains if you say bro into words that already exist, by the way. It's a scientific fact. Now, final question. Um, this fundraiser, what did you think about it? Did you feel you did a good job? Uh, this fundraiser, so for those of you who don't know, uh, we did a show tonight at East Bay Pro Wrestling Headquarters in Pacheco, California, to benefit uh, DJ Fresh. Recently lost a loved one. And yeah. he and his tag team partner day. also had their uh, car broken into and got their gear stolen. So yeah, even worse. Just a rough... You know, a rough patch for Deidre and his tag team partner Alpha Zoe. Mm -hmm. But tonight was a very refreshing reminder that pro wrestling really is a brotherhood. It's a family, and you know, when somebody falls—I hate to use the old cliche—but when somebody falls on hard times, you know, his his brothers, his brethren are there to pick him back up. So tonight was a nice reminder that that is uh, that mentality and that that brotherhood is alive and well in pro wrestling. Thank you for your time, AJ. Yeah, man, my pleasure.